What's up, Sun Rays? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today I am going to be doing a twist out and I am going to be using the Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In and Style Setter. So I have used this product before. It's been a while. I can't tell you the last time I've used it on my channel, but you guys know I'm still trying to use up this leave-in. I thought I'd get it used up today, but I still have some in here. It's so thick and a little goes a long way that it takes a while to use it up. Anyway, it's in my hair. I put it on in the shower and I'm gonna top it with the Style Setter. And I'm gonna try to do mini twist. That's what I'm gonna try to do because as you guys know, I am coming off of my vacation and Happy New Year. Um, I don't know if I said that to you guys or not. I know I said it in my community tab, but I don't think I've said it on an actual video. So Happy New Year. Uh, you probably have seen some previous videos where I hadn't said it. Those videos were recorded previously before the new year. So that's why it's not in there. But this is my first video I'm recording since the new year. So Happy New Year, guys. I hope you guys had a good one. And yeah, I am gonna do mini twists because like I said, I'm coming off my vacation and I just want to give my hair a little bit of rest and let some moisture just sink in and sit in. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm not gonna make them perfect. They probably won't be in for long, but I'm gonna try to keep them in as long as I can. So I have not used the style setter for a while, like I said, but I wanted to use it today just to revisit it, tell you my thoughts on it. It smells very much like the whole cocoa water, coconut water line, has a soft uh, coconut scent to it and <clears throat> yeah, we're going to break into it. So here is the consistency, pretty thick as you can see. So I am going to take that little bit and I'm gonna just rub it on this whole section back here. Get just a little bit more, make sure I get my ends, and then I'm just gonna start twisting. To me, these are gonna be many. To you, maybe they're not. I'm gonna try to do them as many as I can. Now, if I get tired and I decide to do the rest of them big, don't be surprised, but right now I'm gonna try to do them many if I can. So, I was gonna do a video detangling my hair, doing the detangling talk and kind of tell you guys about my trip. But um, my wash day today got a little bit sidetracked for good reason. So I didn't get a chance to do that, but hopefully I'll get a chance later to do that. I am gonna put up a video of my travel but um, I don't know when that's gonna go up. So I was trying to give you guys some information on it in case it didn't go up for a while. So we'll see. I might still be able to get it done. We'll see. This stuff feels good going on. It feels thick, but it feels moisturizing and smoothing to my hair. Guys, look how long that twist is. I 
So you see what I'm doing because I'm doing mini twists. It is going to take me a while, so I'm not going to film the whole thing. I'm just going to continue to use the style setter, twist my hair up, and then I'll be back when I have all the twist in. So, yeah, stay tuned. Ooh, guys, I am back and the twists are in. So, y'all might not consider these many, but for me, it's many. And it took a long time. Now, I can't tell you how long because I was talking on the phone and everything else and I didn't really time it, but it definitely took longer than it normally does for me. Let me clean this hair out of my container before I show you how much I used. So that is how much I used. It's white so you can't hardly tell, but I still got quite a bit in here and I can get a few more uses out of that. Um, so there is a little bit of white. It's going to dry clear. I'm sure. Hopefully I won't have any flaking. I think I need to redo this when it's a little loose, but this is it. So I'm going to let my hair dry and I'm just going to wear it in these twists, hopefully for at least the rest of this week, considering I don't really have anywhere to go this week. So if I film, you guys are probably going to see me in a couple videos with these twists in we'll see but anyway yeah that's it guys i definitely will be back when it dries to show you what it looks like i definitely will try to film something so you can see how it has held up and then if i decide to take it down and wear it as a twist out i'll definitely come back on and let you guys see that as well but um yeah for now we're just gonna wait and let my hair dry using the camille roll style setter and i'll see you guys later so stay tuned Okay guys, so I am back several days later. Today is day eight of having these mini twists in. They are very frizzy in places, um, but I'm not surprised because they've been through a lot. They've been through weather. They've been laying on couches and chairs. They've been laying on bed pillows and everything. So, um, I'm not surprised of the freest. What I will say is that they are still very soft and they feel very moisturized. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take them down. I wasn't gonna do it on camera, but then I said, you know what? They're gonna wanna see it. They're gonna wanna see it. So let me go ahead and just take it down and show you how it looks. It may, like I said, be a little frizzy because they have been up a while, but they definitely came in handy with me not having to do my hair so I did like that especially coming off of my vacation and by the way guys happy new year if I haven't said it and I had a wonderful vacation it was not as warm as I would have liked it to be but I'm someone who likes really hot weather so um, for most of you it would have been perfect and like I said it was fine for me during the day but in the evenings, it got cool, and that's what I really didn't care for. I would have rather it been really hot during the day, and then when it cooled down in the evenings, it got to the point of where it was during the day versus in the 50s, which is when it was getting down to the 50s and low 60s, high 50s and low 60s. And to me, that's not warm, especially when I went somewhere you know, a little bit more tropical. So, and then when you're near the water, it's even colder um, because of that breeze coming off the water. So anyway, guys, because these are little, they're gonna take me a while. So I'm not gonna talk through this takedown. I'm just gonna try to hurry up and get them down and I'll be back.
ignore you all night, all night. Know that I'm a dick like your calls, right? Calls, right? But I know that when I get home, I check in my phone to see what you want, see what you wrote, cause I wanna know, I wanna know. Yeah, I'll be on my way out thinking that I'm good, right? Suddenly you pass by, now you're stuck on my mind, thinking I was done now. But I guess I'll never be tired. Okay, guys, so. I got all the twist out. I separated some, didn't separate others, but I did want, because I wanted you to see the definition. So the definition is really good. Um, now, granted, I did have my twist in eight days. That probably has something to do with it, but also because I had it in eight days, I do have more frizz than I would have had I taken the twist down on day three like I normally do. I usually twist it, let it stay twisted that day, the next day, and then I'll take it down on the third day. This time I'm taking it down on day eight and you can see the definition. It's smaller than I would want it to be so I definitely would go in and separate, create a little bit of frizz to get it bigger to my liking. If you guys like a lot of definition like this and you want it to last, longer then don't you know separate don't make frizz my hair is very soft it feels moisturized um now for me i probably would not normally leave my hair up and twist for eight days i definitely won't do them this small i don't like many twists they take too long to put in okay take that back not that i don't like them I don't like to do them. Um, they take too long to put in. They take very long to get out. And then you end up with really small sections like that. And for me, that's not what I'm going for. If that's what you're going for, then by all means, do mini twists, wear them for a week, then take them down and wear your hair in a twist out for a whole nother week if you want to. Of course, like I said, it's been eight days for me since I have shampooed my hair. So that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna wear this twist out for a week. And the only reason I was taking it down today was because I was going to wash it today. But I said, oh shoot, I filmed me putting them in. I probably wanna see what the mini twists look like after I take them down. So I got back on here. And I know I said, I think when I put them in that I would try to do some videos. Y'all might see some videos with the mini twist in. You won't. I think the only video you're going to see is probably a vlog or two with me in the twist. But I don't think I actually did a sit down video with the twist in except for this one. And as you see, I'm trying to frizz it out, make it a little bit bigger, not being real cognizant of which ones I'm separating and which ones I'm not. I just want it to be a little bit bigger and not so defined. But look at that. The definite, I shouldn't have put on black. Well, I put on this because I don't know if y'all can see it or not off the subject, but see that fleece in here? This fleece is all the way through this jacket and even into the pants. My husband got me this for Christmas. I didn't ask for it, he got it for me for days when we're sitting out in the cold watching football and stuff like that which I thought was thoughtful but today honey it is um below zero the windshield feels like 13 below so I need to run out and I said I'm gonna put this on to run out and um so before I run out let me go ahead and just take this hair down and then show the people that's why I have a minimal makeup and everything else. But anyway, this is what it's looking like, guys. Not going to do a whole lot, like I said, because I am just running out to do one errand. I don't plan on wearing this hair for a long time because I need to wash my hair. I wash my hair. I never go eight days without washing my hair. I'll put it like that and it's not even itching but i don't want it to start itching i don't want it i don't want to start having scalp issues i don't want any more shed hairs than i need to have so i'm not going to 
go much longer but I did want to take it down and let you guys see it so this is what it's getting to my opinion if you have kinky tresses and you want to know whether it works for a twist out or not for me it did if you want to know whether the moisture lasts for days it does if you want to know if it flaked it did not if you want to know if you can get multiple day hair out of it you can so this is my hair i've separated it some put some frizz in it tried to get it a little bit bigger of course um you know i could you know slap it slap some edge control on and stuff like that but i'm not trying to do all that this is what it's looking like and i think it looks nice and it still has a lot of definition even if it has frizz and um even though i'm not going to keep it um much longer so guys i'm not going to come back on day three i'm telling you now i'm not going to come back on day three i'm just letting you see it this definitely would last me three days and beyond based on how tight the coils are and how small i did the twist okay guys so full transparency it's the next day it's the next day so um what had happened was i filmed this entire video and i kept saying kinky tresses kinky tresses okay and that is because kinky tresses is sitting right here on my table and kinky tresses is what i used before i did this twist out and I'm used to pulling from over here, but over here is what I actually used on my hair, which you saw in the beginning of the video, which is the Camille Rose Coconut Water. So once I took my twist down, I started saying kinky tresses and I picked up these and I went through the entire video talking about kinky tresses when it's not kinky tresses that's in my hair, it's this. So with that being said, um, I'm having to come on today, next day, and finish out the video so i went on and put on the same jacket i had on yesterday just so it can look a little bit more uniform i try to put on minimal makeup again today just like i did yesterday so it could look more uniform however you will see that my hair is a tad bit bigger today um, than it was yesterday and that is because remember i was going to wash it today but last night i went on and twisted it in chunky twist um because i thought i was going to wash it today and I was going to edit this video so when I started looking back to edit I saw that I had made the mistake so of course I didn't wash it today so I took the big chunky twist out and this is my hair still looks good has a little bit of frizz but it still looks good it's movable and definitely you could see that I could keep this twist out a couple more days still feel soft and still right now is moisturized but getting to the point of needing some moisture so again i won't be coming back on day three which is tomorrow because it's going to look like this now let me talk about the products so took out my hair you saw that in the previous clips and what it looked like um so what i will say is that i do believe that the coconut water leave-in and style setter can definitely get you a whole week in your natural hair um, I believe if you are someone who likes to go seven days you won't have a problem with this as you can see now again I did do many twists that is going to make the twist um, probably last a little bit longer be a little bit more tight so take that into consideration if you do chunky twists uh, you might not get as much definition okay but I definitely do think that this has enough moisture to last in my hair in twists for eight days. I took it down and I definitely can get another week out of it if I wanted to. And that's what you guys are looking for. So if you want a product that can twist your hair up and you leave it in twist and you rock those twists for a week and then you take it down and do a twist out and you rock that for a week, this works this works i feel like this works again i'm not going to be able to say whether this will last seven days as far as moisture is concerned because i'm not going to let it last that long um, after the eight days but it definitely in my opinion will last the seven days where definition is concerned 
Uh, for me, if I was gonna try to rock it another seven days, I probably would put some moisture on it tomorrow or tonight and retwist it and then just keep on going. That's probably what I would do. With that being said, these products are nice. I hadn't used the Coconut Water Style Setter in a while, um, so I'm glad I did revisit it. I didn't have to use a lot and I, oh, it smells so good. And I definitely will be using this more often for some twist outs. And if you've never tried the Coconut Water Leave-In uh, Detangling Hair Treatment, I think you should pick it up and give it a try. It's thick, but it's moisturizing. It has a lot of slip, so you definitely can detangle with it. But it is one of my staples for a leave-in because it just packs the moisture. So guys, yeah, this is my hair. I'm gonna make this short. Um, you see what it looks like on day two. So transparent, this is day two hair. It definitely will last longer if I needed it to. I do have a little bit of frizz going on here and there and that is because for one, I had the twist in for so long, but for two, I think it's frizzing too because it is starting to just be thirsty. It's starting to need just a little bit of moisture, but when you count it, think about it. Eight days in twist, and then two more days. So this is 10 day hair with no moisture added to it. This is looking good. This is looking good. So yeah, this is looking good guys. So I'm not mad at that little bit of frizz at all. Let me know what you think. Have you tried this combination for twist out? Do you like it? Leave it in the comment section below. If you use the style setter with a different leave in, leave that in the comment section too so we can learn from you and people can see what else this pairs with. But guys, my opinion is it's a good combo. I have nothing negative to say about it. I felt like it um, dried pretty quickly as well and my twist felt so good the entire time that they were in twist. So there you go guys, there you go. But yeah, this is a good combo and Camille Rose has never failed me. I mean, mostly everything that I have tried from Camille Rose, I love. So these uh, products are a staple and I'll go ahead and continue to um, have them as a staple. I know that I said that I was going to be trying out a different um, wash and go combinations coming up. So I'm not sure if I ever tried this under a gel. So I might see how this works under a gel and um, bring that to you guys as well because I would be interested in knowing that. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But guys, yeah, let me know what you think about Okay guys, sorry, I'm having a time with this video. <laughs> Camera cut off because the card was full so I had to erase some stuff so hopefully I got it set up again. But anyway, all I was saying was if you have used something else with the style setter, let us know in the comment section below so we can learn from you. Guys, if you like this hair and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.